If you like our video, click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses and training materials, visit us at teachucomp.com. Budgets in QuickBooks Online let you estimate future income and expenses. QuickBooks Online Plus lets you create profit and loss budgets for fiscal years for income and expense accounts. However, note that you cannot create balance sheet budgets in QuickBooks Online Plus like you can in QuickBooks Pro. Before creating a new budget, you may want to ensure the fiscal year setting is accurate as the budget starts at the fiscal year's first month. To check the fiscal year setting in QuickBooks Online, click the Settings button in the QuickBooks Online toolbar, and then click the Account and Settings link under the Your Company heading in the menu to open the Account and Settings window. Click the Advanced button in the menu at the left side of the window. Then check the first month of fiscal year setting in the Accounting section to the right. Change this setting and save it if necessary. To create a budget in QuickBooks Online Plus, click the Settings button in the QuickBooks Online toolbar, and then click the Budgeting link under the Tools heading in the menu that appears to open the Budgets page. If creating a budget for the first time, Click the Add Budget button that appears in this page to create a new budget in the New Budget window that opens. In the New Budget window, type a name for the budget into the Name field. Use the Fiscal Year drop-down to choose the fiscal year for the budget. Use the Interval drop-down to select the time intervals to show within the budget. To pre-fill the budget with actual data if available, Select the year from which to use the actual data from the Pre-Fill Data drop-down. To subdivide the budget, select a choice from the Subdivide By drop-down. If you choose to subdivide your budget, the Add Subdivided Budget for drop-down that then appears lets you select for which customers, classes, or locations to subdivide the budget. It also adds a View Budget 4 drop-down at the top of the budget from which you can select from the choices you made in the Add Subdivided Budget 4 drop-down to show the choice in the budget. When finished, click the Next button in the lower right corner to continue. To edit the budget's information, click a line in the budget to edit. Then enter the budget's information into the columns within the selected row. To enter the same value into all the columns to the right of a columns field, type a value into the desired field. Then click the Copy Across button, which looks like a right pointing arrow in a blue circle at the right side of the field, to copy it to all fields to the right. To clear the field's information for that row, click the Clear button, which looks like an X in a blue circle, at the right end of the selected row. To save your changes, click the Save Choice on the drop-down button in the toolbar in the lower right corner of the window. Alternatively, to save your changes and close the window, click the drop-down arrow on the drop-down button in the toolbar in the lower right corner of the window, and then select the Save and Close Choice. After closing the window, you then return to the Budgets page. The list in the Budgets page shows all the budgets you have created. To add a new budget in the future when you return to this page if needed, click the Add Budget button in the Budgets Pages upper right corner. To edit a budget in the list of budgets in the Budgets page, click the Edit link under its Action column. To delete a budget, click the drop-down arrow under its action column, and then select the Delete command. Then click Yes in the confirmation window that appears to finish deleting it. To copy a budget, click the drop-down arrow under its action column, and then select the Copy command to open a copy of the budget within a Copy Budget window where you can edit and save it with a new name as usual. To run a Budgets versus Actuals report or Budget Overview report for a budget within the list in the Budgets page, click the drop-down arrow under the Desired Budgets Action column and then select either the Run Budgets versus Actuals report or the Run Budget Overview report command as desired.
Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. Get ad-free courses at teachucomp.com.